Choosing a new health insurance plan can be confusing. There are a lot of things to think about when picking a plan that will work best for you. Let's follow Yemi as she chooses between the different health plan options offered by her new job. Yemi starts by taking a look at how the plans pay for her doctor visits and her medicines and other treatments. First, she looks at the plan's network to see if her doctors are covered. The network is made up of all the doctors, pharmacies, hospitals, and other treatment centers that have agreed to accept that insurance plan. The plan will let her see these providers for a lower cost. If she wants to see a provider that is not in the network, she may pay a higher cost, or the visit may not be covered at all unless there is an emergency. Now, Yemi takes a look at how her medicines and other treatments are covered. Most plans have something called a formulary or drug list. This is a list of prescription drugs covered by the health insurance plan. Not all medicines will be in the formulary. If they're not, she'll either have to pay the full cost for the medicine or her doctor will have to prescribe a different medicine. While she's reviewing the formulary, Yemi sees that some of her medicines require a prior authorization. This is when the doctor has to get special permission before a prescription is covered. Yemi's doctor will have to send her medical records to the plan before it will cover the medicine. It might take some time for the plan to review the records and make the decision to cover her medicine. It is also important to note that the prior authorization usually expires after a certain period of time. When this happens, her doctor will have to send her records again for a reauthorization. In some cases, the plan will want her to try certain medicines first. This is called a step edit. When a step edit is needed, Yemi has to try and fail one medicine before she can get the medicine her doctor prescribed. Like Yemi, when you're deciding on an insurance plan, make sure to ask if your doctors are in the plan's network and if your medicines are on the plan's formulary. If they're not, you might have to pay more to keep your current doctor and medicine, or you might have to switch doctors or medicines. To find out more about how much your health insurance options might cost, call the health insurance plans. If you get your health insurance through your job, you can talk to someone from your human resources department. If you need help paying for your medicine, there may be programs to help you. Ask your doctor about available financial assistance options.